Hassan Shabazz here, New Black Panther Party, DC at gmail.com. You can call me and contact me. It's friends only, friends only, not enemies. Um, I'm here to discuss the prison industrial complex. Um, apparently, me as a black man and a so-called ex-con, ex-felon, ex-offender. Uh, I have great uh, uh, reservations about what the prison industrial complex is for. And it's certainly not just protect the law, it's for other things. Like creating a global police state, a police, make, turning America into a police state, and locking up its so-called malcontents or its undesirables, namely black people, or people you have considered undesirables, or at least treated like undesirables, and that's us. So the prison industrial complex is this broad thing. Uh, usually you have state prisons and you have federal prison systems. The federal prison system is under the, the uh, Federal Bureau of Prisons, which is a, uh, a, a, a big, huge uh, prison agency all around it. With, with, they build penitentiaries and prison complexes all around the country. And uh, they send D.C. prisoners to, them, uh, to these places, and they don't treat us nicely. Uh, they abuse us. Uh, they try to harass us. They don't try to. They harass us. They try to humiliate us. Uh, and uh, so I'm here to show you that I haven't forgotten about that, and uh, we're working on you. So uh, the prison industrial complex uh, is a huge bureaucracy, a huge bureaucracy which is used up millions of our tax dollars, and it's here to oppress people, to maintain control over the un uh, over the oppressed people, uh, and to make the elites feel protected. Uh, uh, even though they're not respected. So, uh, the prison industrial complex um, is, uh, is a huge bureaucracy of state prisons, penitentiaries, medium facilities, uh, minimum facilities, um, everything from the Administrator of Maximum Penitentiary in Florence, Colorado, uh, where I was at, and uh, you don't just send so-called terrorist people there. You send just average people there, people there who, who want to buck the system, people there who want to stand up, people there who want to uh, uh, defend themselves against this repression that you're trying to pull over the American people and over black people especially. Because I know black people are first on the chopping block. I know this. I already know it because I know how y'all play. Y'all try to get us out the way first, and, and, uh, and then whatever space is left over, Y'all can fill in or put y'all people in there. Yeah, that's the that's way y'all always carried it. That's the way y'all always did it. So, uh, I'm here to tell my black people to be aware of the prison industrial complex. Uh, it was built to maintain social control and to maintain this police state uh, that America is. Uh, and it's becoming even more and more every day. And uh, we have to stand up and fight. We have to locate these places. We have to know where they're building prisons. They have prisons all around the country. Uh, uh, some of them we don't know about. Uh, they're putting so-called people, they so-called terrorists, people that they've kidnapped from other countries. They stick them there. They, they try to hide you, uh, 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 and they, they try to keep you out of sight. They try to keep you there to, to suppress you and to suppress the truth, so that the other American people won't wake up and they realize what's going on. So that's what the whole prison industrial complex is about. It's a it's an American North American gulag system. No more, even more sophisticated and well funded than the Russian gulags. Uh, uh, Stalin would be very proud of America's gulag system. He would, he, he would have a lot to, 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 to comment about America's prison system. So uh, don't try to make it look like, oh, prisons are, we need prisons because uh, we need to protect the law. The real reason for these prisons is so that when the American people and black people wake up, which we're gradually starting to do, this recent incident in Arizona with a guy gunned down the, the congressman and the judge and so on, more and more American people will be waking up. And so now they want to maintain social control because they know that American people eventually wake up and they don't want us to have guns and to be ready to defend ourselves and, over, and throw these bums out and throw these criminals and these crooks and these fascist people out. So, so that's why they're building the prisons so they can maintain social control. They'll never forget what prison is all about. It's not about protecting the law. It's about protecting themselves, the elites, and those, those criminals in power so that when the, when the American people wake up and finally realize and recognize, man, this thing, this thing is getting out of control. We got to defend ourselves. We, we will get our guns so everybody, don't, don't turn your guns in. 
We need more guns. You need to hide them. You need to bury them. You need to keep them oiled and keep them ready so that when, when, when this thing, when they try to arrest us and round us up, we'll defend ourselves. And that's exactly what we'll do. And that's exactly what I'll tell my people to do. Defend themselves. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to be ready to do. So ladies and gentlemen, you can contact me at New Black Panther Party DC at gmail.com. Thank you very much.